across. So Rob, um, just talk me through that. That was a tough result for, for the guys. Yeah, real disappointing, obviously, to when, obviously end our season now um, in the semi-final when obviously a, a grand final spot's at stake. But do you know what? They can't ask for more effort throughout the lads this year. Disappointing that obviously this team will never be together um, again this year. But that sport, as I said to lads, listen, you know, sport's all about highs and lows, and you've got to pick yourself up from the lows. And you know, there's a lot of lads in that changing room upset, and you know, myself included, because it's sad, but it's part of the game. You're involved in sport. There's there's as many lows as there's highs, and hopefully, the lads can uh, kick on from that. The experienced players, Jack Wellsby, um, Josh Sims were really clinical for them. Was that something that you looked at in training and looking to close them down and their impact on the game? Yeah, absolutely. Wellsby, I mean, he's a bit of a freak and he, you know, you, you try and contain him, but, um, you know, he's played plenty of first team this year and I thought that was quite evident at times, um, hard to handle. You know, at times it looked like he was probably mid-twenties playing in there, very strong, very elusive, very fast and He's clearly um, got a future in the game. Um, as with uh, you know, Dodd in the halves, controlled everything, really got their forwards around the park. The conditions didn't really make it a rugby league sort of uh, game, but he just bossed the team around. And two, two people we couldn't really handle and, and control the game. Do you think that the amount of rain we did have, not to make excuses, but the amount of rain we did have and the high winds as well had a, a bit of an impact maybe on how your team performed? No, not really, Dan. Um, you know, I spoke about, you know, the big games were all about doing the simple things better than the opposition. And you know what, in that first half, our completions were pretty good. Um, it was a very low risk game where, you know, you didn't throw a great deal at the opposition and, and them, them at us. But ultimately, they, they just had a bit too much for us in the end. We couldn't control their rock speed. And Rose seemed to be on the, the eight ball. But you know, it's a learning curve. These guys um, kicking on, moving on and uh, going to different clubs will, will obviously learn from this and, and get better. But, you know, some champion blokes in that uh, team are, are, have been lucky enough to coach over the last, you know, two years. Um, so, you know, it's sad it comes to an end, but life must go on. And we had Owen Trout coming back into the team. How how did he perform on uh, his return on a bit of a lighter note? Do you know what? I thought Owen had a dig, yeah. Um, I thought all the, uh, the, obviously, the transition players stood up and, and were accounted for their performance. Um, you can't fault any of the players' efforts. They had a dig. Um, it's just, we're just beaten by a better team on the day. And, and they certainly had a lot more strike out there than us. But, you know, credit to them. Wish them uh, all the best next week.